what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd Booty Gucci, acting booty I put dick all in her gut Like these movies, Call of Duty I got different clips in her We got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest Too rare What's going on? So for the people that don't know Tell us like what part of Philly you from? From like the north side Like mixed with the east Like north and like northeast a little bit But you could say like northeast so like, tell us what it's like growing up over there, though. It's like the typical Philly shit, drill shit, you know, trap and shit. Like, long story short, if you stay in your lane, like you gonna be cool for real, for real. I, I used to play football, so I used to be out the way on the block, like playing like street ball. Shit. So they said like you was good in football. In yeah, I was sharp. I ain't gonna lie. So like, what happened? Like, what what stopped your football dreams? Long story short, by the time like my twelfth grade year came, um, I was going through like little shit around the neighborhood. Like my old head got killed in front of the high school, so I ain't really like you feel me. I ain't really want to go to school. You feel me? It was a little war zone, but I slid out LA for like two to three weeks. By the time like the third week came, I was burnt out out there doing Beverly Hills. People <laughs> walking around the dog. So shit LA a vibe. Like it was a vibe, but where we was at, it wasn't a vibe. Like it's all old, like old shit. Like you know, we young, we gonna have fun. Like you know, yeah. like the Miami vibe. I feel like LA is slow. I mean, you not smoking or partying, I guess. Yeah. So, but would you move to LA or no? I don't think so. I, do, <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. Like my old heads right now, they trying to get me out LA. Yeah, but I don't know. But it's you like, want to stay in Philly, or you want to go somewhere else? I don't want to stay in Philly. <laughs> Fuck no, can't stay in Philly. So what do you think you would move to next? Like touching some M's. Where you moving to? Where you going? Probably Texas. What? Probably Texas. Okay. Texas. I ain't gonna lie. I might. I might go somewhere like close to Cali though. Probably somewhere around Cali, but I don't know. I'm gonna be moving around so much. It's like. I don't know. Somewhere safe where I could leave my head at. Aside from football, like, transition from football to music, like, how was that? Like, how did you get into music? Like, what are some of your early memories of music? Going through the motions, trying to find the right studio. So how was that, finding studios and stuff like that? <laughs> <laughs> like, it probably took for me to, like, go to, like, my 10th studio in the city for me to really know, like, that's the one for me, you feel me? So what would, would it be? It'd be like the engineers, it'd be the quality. It'd be the engineer, it'd be the quality, it'd be the engineer. Like, when I first started making music, I had a rapper nigga that engineered my song. Mm -hmm. Like, and sometimes he was, it seemed like he used to be hating on me. Sometimes the mix won't be right. You feel me? Mm -hmm. One song would be right, the other song would be like, man, bro, you could have put more effort in this. Like, mm -hmm. So, like, so when, it, when it comes to, like, recording, like, you know the type of, like, I guess plugins you want? You know how to record yeah, yourself? Yeah, No, I don't know how to record myself yet. That's what I got to learn, though, ASAP. So you want to learn how to record yourself? Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, like, yeah. you found the right studio. When did you start dropping music? I started dropping music. Like, after my first song I recorded, I straight dropped that shit. Like, oh, you didn't care? Was yeah, I didn't care. It. I just dropped that shit. Like, fuck it. Take it. So, like, how was your friends and stuff transitioning from seeing football to music now? How was that? Like, damn, bro, you gonna you gonna give football up? Like, you really gonna stop, bro? Like, but me, I always knew, like, if I just dedicate myself to it, it's on. Mm -hmm. Like with anything, like, like it could be anything. I feel like, bro, for acting, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Anything. It's all about practice with anything, for real. So, first song dropped it. What was the traction like coming from there? Like, what made you keep doing it? Motherfuckers hating on me. My old homies hating on me. So hate is motivation for you. Yeah. Okay, so like when did the I guess when did your music start picking up? Was people in the city fucking with you? Or yeah. people outside the city that was fucking with you? It was in the city. It was in the city for sure. I dropped a song called No Brotherly Love. Mm -hmm. It shot up. Like I had like the hood, the hood type fan base. Okay. Like I ain't had like 
no white people or nothing, but I knew like I ain't really want that shit to like be like a hood type fan base. So I mm-hmm. dropped a song called Big Bag. And once Big Bag dropped, it seemed like I got everybody like both sides of the, you know. Mm-hmm. So. And like, so I don't know, like what if you had to describe your sound? I said her right here was death. How would you describe <laughs> your sound to her? God forbid, <laughs> but you know. How would you describe it? I don't know how to explain it. Fun. I got a fun sound. I feel like fun cookout music. I don't fun know. Some shit that's going to make your grandma, aunties, and uncles <laughs> dance, too. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. So, oh. So, so oh. Repeat that again. Yeah, he's definitely just if you just up. had to explain the song, explain your sound. I guess. Are oh, you said to a deaf person though? How you gonna do that? <laughs> I don't not do that shit. Anybody to shit someone, <laughs> to someone that never heard your music, how would you explain it? What vibes should they be expecting from you? A good vibe. A I don't good know. Vibe? Just a, a like if you gonna feel good. I think. I don't know how you could explain it to a deaf person. Bro, he <laughs> still gonna keep saying. Oh Bro, shit. No, but like, so like, when did you, I guess, because you know, everybody takes time to find their sound. How did you know, like, this sound was your sound? I still don't feel like I found my sound yet. You still, you still feel like you're trying stuff out? Yeah. I just be trying different vibes. If you really go through my catalog, it's like different types of. I feel like you go, like, fast paced. I feel like it's, like, very, like you yeah, said. Yeah, I definitely like faster paced. Yeah, music you're not going to be sure. on here trying to ride with yeah. us, you know? So, yeah. I feel like that's, like, I do got a couple songs like that though that slow down. They slow down, but you don't. You drop them? No, I ain't drop them. Exactly. So you like having fun. He like you like people dancing. Yeah. So you still you still don't feel like you find a song? I ain't find it. I know I did. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'm shocked you said that. Cause you've been doing music for how long now? Like three, three going on four, I think now. Three years, going on four years? Yeah, I think so. It's some shit like that. Dude. I started when I was like 19, 18, 19, mm-hmm. 21 there. Yeah. Okay. So then, um, so Cupid is like the most viralist song right now, right? So like, how did that um, start picking up? TikTok. I posted the sound on TikTok. I got a couple people to like dance to it. Once these two Chicago boys had made like the challenge, mm-hmm. it was like up. Like, it went from, like, 500 videos to, like, 1,000 to 1,000 to, like, 10,000 from 10,000 to, like, 20,000. It just started, like, doubling. Going up? Yeah. So you reached out to them, or they just did it? or No, they just did it. Okay. I feel like when you do that, it don't shoot up. Like, if you don't do it the organic way, like, mm-hmm. like Cupid still ain't got no money put into it or nothing. Like, that's all, that's like, organic. organic stuff. Yeah. So did y'all get that cleared? Or that's no, we ain't get it cleared. We, got, we, we about to get it cleared now, though. So, like, does that, like, discourage you? Like, if you work on a song and it's fire and it doesn't get cleared? Hell yeah. So, you're going to, like, stay away from samples? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Everybody's <laughs> going to I ain't so. stayed away from samples. I ain't going to lie. Like, that's just, like, the vibe right now. But, but it do, like, discourage. Or, like, sometimes it do, like, have me, like, I got to stay away from this shit. Like, mm-hmm. But I still do it. Like, anything I like, I do that shit. And then the, um, the Cupid beat, like I feel like after you did it, I see like so many people doing it. Yeah. Do you feel like people copying you, or do you? What do you? Niggas heard my man? shit first. Niggas no, people first. definitely heard this stuff first. Niggas heard my shit first. <laughs> but I feel like you kind of like are spreading, like I don't know, people feeling need to be creative. And now. a lot of people start hopping on like the, like the club type beats yeah. more. Like, how you feel about that? It's a good job. Fuck it, keep it relevant. I don't care. You feel like Philly did that first? No, Philly ain't do it first. You still got Baltimore. You still got Jersey. But mm-hmm. I feel like, for real, for real, motherfuckers ain't really start doing it repeatedly mm-hmm. until Philly do, did it. Like, mm-hmm. me, Zah, Sosa, Sturdy. Because mm-hmm. I feel like we made that shit turn, like, to a whole different, like, ball game, like, commercial type shit. Like, yeah. there's been people rapping on club beats. But, like, who really, like, solidified it type shit. I feel like we did that. I ain't gonna lie. So, like you said, you said Baltimore's doing it, Jersey's doing it, and y'all. So, how do people how do people differentiate the difference? 
Like, how do you know this is a Philly song versus this is a Jersey song versus this is a Buffalo song? I don't you know. I feel way? like no. I feel like the difference is, well, with me, I feel like I turned it to like a melodic mm-hmm. type feel on the beat. You feel me? Mm-hmm. Well, other motherfucker just punching and he just rapping all hard on the drums <laughs> or something. You feel me? Like mm-hmm. that's probably like the difference where you probably could hear it. I don't know. Or you just gonna have to tell like if the artist from Philly or Jersey. I don't know. Yeah, it's really hard to. It's really hard to tell. Yeah. So like um. So, how do you go about picking your beats, though? Like, what's the creative process like when you're in the studio? I just hear a beat. I always make sure I hear the beat before I go in there, before I go in there, just wandering type shit. Mm-hmm. Or sometimes when I do probably do a joint that I did want to do, mm-hmm. I'll probably, like, go to my email, probably listen to some joints, or I, I don't know. It's like, that should be different. Every like, every studio <laughs> every session, studio like, session? every studio session be a little different. So what was the Cupid studio session like? You been had to be? Did you tell somebody to make that sample specifically? I've been, because listen, in Philly, like, we listen to, like, party music. Period. That's like party music. We call it, like, party music. Okay. And I've been had it, like, when Sturdy and them did, like, Shake That, mm-hmm. I heard it. They had sparked the idea in my head, because I've been had the Cupid song, like, saved in my SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. I'm like, man, let me try this shit. I did, like, two songs before Cupid. I did Cupid in like 15 to 20 minutes with some punching in, okay. freestyle and shit. Like, when I did it, I just uploaded that shit and just seen like, you feel me, what it was going to do. Okay. And then you also got the Uchi Kuchi song. Yeah. What inspired that song? Um, the nigga, the nigga Mike on the beat, he had, no, I had A's. Mike, like, yo, we got to put like some TikTok shit in, in this joint, like, and... Around the time it was that viral shit that was going like yeah. that we got I, I got fun, I, I got to figure out how to get this money by tomorrow or some yeah. shit like that. Yeah, well, me being me, I said coochie. You feel <laughs> me? When I said coochie, once the beat drop, I just start like mumbling like the you feel me the melody of that shit, and mm-hmm. I just put words on that shit like and that's how that happened. Oh my! So I gotta figure out a way to get the coochie by tomorrow. <laughs> How you go about doing that? <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? What you, what you like, mean? Like, if you have a girl, gotta yeah. get this by tomorrow. How you go about doing that? How do you? Some be linking up is on. <laughs> like I ain't know. Oh wow! I'm, no dates, no. Some be linked up is on. Like what you mean? Like if 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 she my girl or is she like a random girl? Though? Random girl. Gotta get this coochie by tomorrow. Like, a lot of some doing? girls don't be. Don't be asking for dates and shit like that, though. Mm-hmm. You just be wanting to catch the vibes and be around niggas. Like, well, I'm sure that happens more now because you lit now. Yeah. So how you go about that? How do you know this is a groupie versus this is somebody I want to... How they come off in the DM or how they act, like, when you talk to them, screenshot and shit. Okay. Like, it's different ways, like, that screenshot shit, real. Of course it is. Like, Y'all lit. You could text in vanish mode. Damn, you look good as shit or something. No, that's just a screenshot. It'd be like, my fault. I was trying to turn my phone off. Like, I was fucking fraud. You know what you was doing. Like, delete yeah. that shit. I'm weak. So, girls be sliding in the DM? Yeah. So, you do be on checking your DMs and stuff? I don't be checking my DMs for them. I check my DMs for, like, reposting like videos and yeah, shit. stuff like, like that. I be missing out on certain stuff, so... So they could shoot they shot in the DM. You might see it, you might not. Yeah, I might see it. I, I ain't gonna lie, I be seeing all that shit for real. I be going, I be scrolling, going through that shit. Check my little hidden request. Do you feel like like um that'll be a distraction from you? Are you in a relationship or are you single? I ain't Chilling. gonna lie, that shit complicated right now. <laughs> That's what they all say. So wh- why is it complicated? Because you're focused on your career? No, not even because... that. Like somebody just somebody sent some screenshot bullshit. Oh, so you're this funny. weird shit. So it's like. I'm living life right now, man. I ain't gonna lie, but <laughs> it's okay. like I ain't saying like on some nut shit, but it's like <laughs> if you gonna believe what this bitch saying and all that, like just go ahead, like. Okay, so you're not about to go above and beyond type shit. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I <gotta laugh. laughs> I'm another ass nigga. Listen, you're being you're being an artist. The girls are crazy. But um, I mean, so hmm. So how do you go about like marketing, promote yourself, getting your name out there? Marketing, promote myself. 
don't like it's not really no special way I do it. I just I either upload a snippet, post the shit on TikTok, let it build up on TikTok and probably drop. Like right now I got another sound. I had remixed like that I like John, like that little sample John. Yeah. Only thing I did was got somebody like a TikTok influencer. Post that John on his John, bang! I reposted on my page and I said, "Yo, I just dropped this new sound type shit." Mm-hmm. And they just like they making videos right now, so that shit about to be at like two thousand videos in like three days, two two three days. Yeah. So like, you feel like TikTok definitely helped your career? Yeah, hell yeah, it did. So do you encourage like more artists to get on TikTok, or you gotta just figure it out, or? It's different ways you could take off, like for me. I'm saying TikTok from the rip. Okay. Like it's like an easier way, non stressful yeah. way. If it if it build up, it build up. If it don't, it don't. If it don't build up on TikTok, like don't get discouraged type shit. Yeah, and do you feel like a way like when people people be like, oh, it's a lot of TikTok stars nowadays. Does that term bother you? You feel like. No. I feel if about you like- on, you on. Either way, you got you get on. I kind I kind of cared about that. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't consider myself a TikTok rapper because I've been headed way before TikTok. TikTok just made my shit like a whole different, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I don't know. They label me as that. It's like, fuck it, bro. I'm I'm still No, I'm not saying they say that. I'm saying people, that's like a thing. People say, like, without TikTok, artists wouldn't be Yeah, you wouldn't be, yeah. You know? It's another platform. Yeah. Just promoting yourself. Yeah, you promoting yourself. Just how you. Back then, like, people used to compare you to Lil Tecker. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. so. That used to fry me like, <laughs> like dead Like I ain't gonna lie Like how the I don't know Part was the The braces And how my hair I don't know Maybe a style I don't know So like So like Do you like So I mean Y'all clear You feel like this little second inspiration You listen to him You fuck with him I fuck with him But he ain't no inspiration to me though, No Yeah So like Who was some of your inspirations Growing up Growing up Yeah Getting into music Getting in the studio um, probably say like Drake. Mm-hmm. Um, like when I first started making music, though, that's when the baby like first really started popping up. I was watching his shit like mm-hmm. heavy. I think because your music videos be super creative. Yeah, like he kind of like made me like really think super outside the box. Like I watch hella movies, so watching him just had me think of like shit I've been seeing and all mm-hmm. that, like on the music video tip. So. So, like, all your music videos be super creative. You got your peoples coming out. Y'all have storylines, props. Mm-hmm. How much you be spending on your videos? A bag. <laughs> I be spending a bag. I have a lot of Amazon, Prime, everything. <laughs> got wheat. Like. And so you playing it out straight through? I ain't gonna lie. Sometimes I come up with shit on set. On set? Like, if you watch Uchi Coochie, that was, like, the same day type stuff. Mm-hmm. That wasn't planned out. But Grandpa was was like y'all had Grandpa props was kind of like planned out, yeah. Grandpa was kind of like planned out. We had props, yeah. And then Cupid, y'all had like the dancing mouse. Cupid, we rushed that joint. <laughs> Cupid, we had the like the way that joint was taking off. It was like, mm-hmm. bro, I gotta get my face on this record. So we kind of yeah. rushed that video, like. So do you feel like you, do you wish you want to spend more time on that one or on Cupid? You ha- yeah, you feel. Like, oh, you happy the way it turned out? I ain't happy. You wish you that lie. again? Cause they they like. They killed my sound on TikTok. They started taking my stuff off of Spotify. Like, the shit did 500,000 streams the same day it dropped on there. They took it off. Like, but I still I still need a remix on it. You still need a remix on it? Yeah, so I want to. What are you thinking? Uzi, Uzi hopped on it. Okay. He ain't seen me the audio, though. Okay. So it's just out there. <laughs> he ain't see the audio though. He hopped on and he FaceTime me. Yo, bro, I just did this joint for you. Shit sounded fire. Right. He ain't see me the audio. So. So Uzi, we need that. <laughs> so Uzi, like, we need that. Yeah, we trying to figure that out right now. Okay, okay. So who else from Philly been showing you love? P and B Rock. P and B Rock, y'all gonna do something? Yeah, I sent him an open. Hopefully, he sent me that shit back. He told me he was gonna hop on it. Are you um signed or are you still independent? I'm still independent. Are you looking to go to a label? Are you chilling? I ain't right? looking, but if they come with the right thing, yeah. Like, it's some labels that still, like... Interesting. Like, yeah, mm-hmm. like, like sending me offers and stuff. But some had backed off when they seen, like, the little clearance shit and all that stuff on the beat mm-hmm. stuff. Yeah. But it's still, like, a couple that's still, like, 
yo, what's going on? Or that found out the, about the Uzi shit or something. Yeah, they was they was on you after that. Yeah. So on May 9th, you tweeted, being consistent is hard when nobody's clapping for you. Do you feel like it's hard? Oh, you me? said what? What I say? On May 9th, you tweeted. Yo, digging like a show. <laughs> they digging like a show, you hear me? <laughs> yeah. On May 9th, you tweeted, being consistent is hard when nobody's clapping for you. What was happening around that time? Or what, what do you think when you say that? No, for this part, like it wasn't. You, like, when, I probably, no, I meant, like, basically, like, it's hard to really keep working and ain't, mm-hmm. you ain't really seeing no progress, you feel yeah. me? Like. So what motivates you to keep working? Everybody around me, my family, just me being me or me seeing somebody else mm-hmm. pop off or some shit, like, that make me to want to keep. work harder? Yeah. So your family supports your music career and stuff? Yeah, they do. Mm-hmm. I hate saying the day, but you was like, everybody turned their back on me when it came to this music shit. I ain't never gonna forget that. So who is on your shit list? Nah, not, <laughs> not, not who on your shit list, but like, what was, can you give us a story of like a time where like someone like definitely let you down that you didn't expect? What happened? Nigga said some fly shit out of his mouth. Like, when you could just tell, like, it was really, like, hatred because I was, you feel me, doing music mm-hmm. type shit. Like, 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 what you really saying that out your mouth for? Like, mm-hmm. So you definitely lost a lot of friends when it comes to music? Yeah, I lost some friends. I lost. All that was, like, in the very beginning, though. Like, it wasn't, like, around this time. Like, mm-hmm. I've been isolating myself. Like, okay. like, after I made my first song, I, like, Kind of kept my distance from everybody because people was hating around that time. Okay, so you definitely got to. It's like it. motherfuckers seen the vision before I seen it. That's what really made me like work harder. Yeah, I'm gonna keep doing this shit because y'all niggas, it gotta be something. Okay, so what's some of your like musical goals? Um, double XL, BET Awards, plaques, plaques. Just being like a global artist. So, I want to be local. I want to be global. Global. Yeah. I feel like we have fans like outside of the US. Be yeah, you, yeah. But I don't know if it's heavy or not yet because I never went over there. Mm-hmm. But definitely people hit me, yo, bro, I'm from UK, yo, bro, I'm from such and such. Mm-hmm. Or they'll make a video, you could just tell they're not from the US. <laughs> like the quality <laughs> yeah, of the well, you can really shitty. Be, um, like. Yeah. So, um, so like, um, any artists you want to collab with? You have a project on the way? Like, what's going on? What should we look forward to this year? <sighs> Um, more like merch collaborations. You feel me with my man? He got, he got humble. You feel me? Merch collaborations, mm-hmm. features, mm-hmm. more singles, more videos, more creativity. Like, Are you into just, fashion? Like you style yourself? Yeah, I style myself. Like nobody style me. So you don't want a stylist? You in? You like? It's it's like a it's like that's part of the brand. It's like at this point. I feel like it's extra like. I kind of feel like that shit extra, like, a whole nother fee and all that. Don't you got to pay for that, right? <laughs> yeah, you do have to pay for stuff. Yeah, that shit, I'm cool. I... But some people don't like shopping. That's why they get stylists. You like shopping and stuff? Yeah, I like shopping. Okay. Or some shit I'll probably pick out myself. I already had some in the closet to match. Type shit. Okay. Yeah. So collabs on the way. So you said, we're looking for Uzi soon. Maybe P&B. Send that if you're watching this. Maybe P and B. Who else? Um, could you give us one more or? Um, I got some shit with B Love. Okay. I got some shit. Oh yeah, cause you linked up with Booba. I got some shit with Stun again, B No. Okay, so you heavy in the New York scene. Yeah, I got Stun. I got um B Love. Who else? I already did a Booba track. Yeah, Booba's out already. I got some shit in the tuck. I ain't gonna lie. Okay. Like, I ain't even like. Okay, so you in tune with the Brooklyn, I mean, I said Brooklyn, Bronx, New York yeah, Drill. Yeah, for sure. Them niggas fuck stuff. with me heavy, too. They in tune. They be yeah. trying to hit the little dance and all that. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, they yeah. do. They, yeah, they definitely fucking with y'all out here. Um, Yeah, are you doing a project this year? I might. Might be. I might be. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Maybe real soon. Maybe real soon. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, yeah, are you gonna do a Coochie remix or y'all know yet? Coochie Coochie. Yeah. I 
don't know. I don't, I don't know. It depends how that song blow up more. Like, if it take off, take off, then yeah, I feel like You don't feel like it took off? Mm-mm. Not like... Mm-hmm. They killed that, too. Why, like when why, I first dropped to the first day. like, they killed... Like, who killed They them? killed, like, producers that be on some... Like, with that shit, it was a producer nigga, like... I ain't gonna say his name, but he kind of, like, wanted... Like, he wanted, like, all recognition with no money and shit, like, mm-hmm. tags and, like, OB oh, yeah, yeah, tags. Yeah. And all. I was like, bro, why the fuck you can't just go 50-50 with me, take this money up front okay. like a regular producer? Okay. Well, that's why the labels be like, yeah, we don't really want to do samples. Yeah. Because producers should like that. So, like, but you're still saying you're not staying away from samples. So, like, how is that going <laughs> to go? I don't know. So, maybe you just got to lock in with a producer. Producer, no, for sure, no, for too sure. Rare. No, right. You looking for a producer? You looking for a producer? I'm already, I'm already you got on the ashes. Yeah, they you know wanna? that. Okay. All right, I'm on ashes right. about that. So, like, if you had to, I guess, what's one song you want to sample? Which one song I want to sample? Yeah. I want to sample, um, what's that song, yo? I forgot that song. I just was listening to that shit. I want to sample the Lovers and Friends, John. The Lovers and Friends. Oh, okay. Yeah. Pick that John. Party song, beat type okay. shit. Um, I want to sample a couple shit. I ain't going to lie. Like, I ain't going to lie. I like sampling shit that females going to feel. <laughs> right. So you feel like most of your fan base is girls? Mm-hmm. For sure. Like, does it, like, do you feel like your fan base, fan, fans are like under 21 or over 21? Oh, they over. They like they like in the they mix. Over? They like in the mix. I feel like out here, I hear a lot of the younger kids talk about y'all. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot of the younger kids for sure. Like it's heavy on the younger kids, but mm-hmm. like we like we just did the club joint yesterday. Mm-hmm. No kids was there. You feel yeah. me? And they was no, going dumb. I, so all the people know it for sure. For no, sure. definitely they know it because the of the kids, kids though. The yeah, because of the kids. They know because of the kids. Yeah. So do you like? Uh, so you. I guess so. Would you say when you're making a song, do you shoot for to shoot for the adults, like you said, the females? Or are you shooting for like whoever a girl does? Yeah, I don't age? really care. Like I was talking about, like on the beat tip. Like I try to find something that a female gonna feel before uh-huh. I even hop on and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But like what I'm saying and all that, I don't care. I used to care though. Yeah. I don't care no more. Why you don't care no more? Because people say change? all fly shit. Kids gonna curse. <laughs> kids like you feel me? They repeat shit that other artists do that. That's really crazy. Like, I don't really be caring about that like that. Mm-hmm. I ain't no out of pocket artist though. I'm still like <laughs> a clean know. artist though. Like, well, I just, I don't know. As long as you have a clean version, yeah, hit, I got them clean yeah, hit them radios. Gotta hit the radios, like, all that. All right. Sure. So, tell people how to find you. How can they tap in? How can they tune in? At two rare, the number two R A R E E on everything. TikTok, Spotify, follow me, subscribe, everywhere. Okay. I'm good.